Welcome back guys. Last we left off we were getting ready to start our Hogsmeade experience. I'll sit here with a nice quick Accio. And now it's time to get started so I first want to go to the wand shop. Let's visit Ollivanders. Actually let's go here and see where Ollivanders is. Okay we're right next to it. I'm going Ollivanders ain't no place better. He gonna come sliding like Harry Potter or what? Rebellion. Nothing in here. He got himself. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Oh, he's uh, ready to give it to us. Hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I. About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, ah, I knew yes. it. <laughs> Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Too small. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. It's third time we the charm or second time? A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Ooh, dragon heart Let's string. give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. Right? How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Let's see. Oh, so I can make, I'm making it. Dragon heart string, very flexible. 11 and a quarter inches. Oh, so it's that one, but I gotta choose something else. How intriguing. Salt, honey brown, crooked spiral, dark gray, natural gray. Curious indeed. I like that stalk, honey brown. I mean, I like the stalk type of one. How intriguing. Let's have it, honey brown. Wood type. Curious indeed. Acacia. No, I didn't choose that. We can have it holly. How intriguing. I want to kind of long. 14 inches. Wait. I like 13 and a half. Actually, 13. Curious indeed. Intriguing. I 
I'm gonna like that slightly springy. Dragon heart string that serves as the core of a wand, known for producing powerful magic. The hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of the wand, known for producing consistent magic. The feather of a phoenix that serves as the core of a wand, capable of producing a great range of magic. Well, I'm ah, happy to go with the phoenix feather. Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. What do you think? Let's see. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Right. Different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Yes, sir. Lumos. Ministry is good work if you can get it. I don't need to visit tomes and scrolls. Where's tomes and scrolls? There we go. We're here at the tomes and scrolls now. Let's reveal something. They're all locked. It was in the tone of scrolls. An inquiring mind. Okay, so I just unlocked the secret staircase. Awesome. I'll just go up there. Rebellion. Light herbologist hat. Hey, you know me. I gotta put on what I wear. Wait, it's a hat. Ooh. Okay, so I got a new handle on my wand. Lumos. Look at that. Got a new handle on my wand. Oh, come here. Give me that. Okay, let's see about you, Mr. Thomas Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown, I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. I hear how my voice kind of sounds like robotic. It is magic at its it purest. Like this when I was making creating my something out of nothing. Might have missed something else. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Mm. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe right. so, sir. Good. 
Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. It uses a pot to grow all sorts of useful magic plants. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. That's Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. That'll be it, sir. Thank you. Now we need to find the magic key. Magic meat. My mistakes. Man, I'm scooting now. I'm stepping in this road. Okay. I mean, I just like how immersive it is. Come here. Come here, buddy. Then we're gonna have. Man, I need to. Oh, I need to unlock Elo Hamora. Well, hello there. Hello. hello there. Please come in. I'm here. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can Can't they, very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can it's I? yummy. I suppose not. Or lettuce. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Got the Dittany seeds. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Now I gotta get Pippin's potions. Is that food flames right here? How nice to see you, my young friend. Look at it chopping the tree. Bet you that's an achievement of some sort. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Revelio. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade, where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wild, wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Checked gloves. Okay. Now I gotta put that on. We're gonna get some sets sooner or later. Let's Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well. Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect, 
You'll discover all of this soon enough. Mm. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. You sell wheat? I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. Yeah, he sells wheat, 100%. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out no, on anything. No, you don't sell wheat, you sell acid. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? The other do sell wheat. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I'm in a rush today. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Where's Natty at? Oh, there's a paper fire. Oh, Lumos. There's the paper. Got a piece of another paper fine before I leave, right? Surely. Accio's like car paper tractor. I like the way it looks. Okay, well, let's get back to Natty. Lumos. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day let's I get finally some pick one. Actually, it's more like I'm stuck. That was a amazing. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. 
The makings of an aura, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm really If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping yeah, me put yeah, a few things back it. to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Okay, now while we're here, boss, they're just jiggling like that. Oh, wait. Repair it. Clad Rags Wizardware, founded in 1750 with the locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade. Glad, Glad Rags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate, Odo Dibble, happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying, in particular, the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Got you. Can't run from me. We were just talking about you. Oh, I just help myself with some tea, I see. Rebellion. Okay, that's a mannequin. Gotta have something else, right? Strike start. He's just looking at me, but I can't do nothing about it. I could have just worn a hair so Revelio. There we go. Sneakoscope. A sneakoscope is a type of dark detector and will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, as it will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence almost instantly. Okay, Titan Nightcap. I'm just sitting here getting all kind of stuff. So we're gonna sit here and see what looks better on us. This gives us eight defense. <laughs> it looks weird, but I'll just keep wearing it. Neckwear. We got that. Get the collections all out of here. Get these notifications off. These notifications off. And all these notifications off. And out. And then the challenges. Show the guy pages. And that should be it. Oh wait, but I got something. Oh no, I'll put it on, I'll put it on. Let's talk to the shopkeeper. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something 
much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I, mean, I really don't like it. It makes my offense go down. You won't be disappointed. That's a clap. Yeah, they just made I me expect you have a sharp eye for that. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeat. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Yeah. Just down this way then. Okay, I'd like to put on something else before we do nice. that because this dude just made me take off what I had on. That's way better. Okay, now let's be on our way. Visit vendors to sell gear. Okay. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Okay, Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Follow you to the three broomsticks. Let's see how much time we have left on this. So I think this will be Assuming getting ready to leave Hogsmeade. You might even meet Sirona, will be the, last the part. owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. I don't like this Ranrock dude. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Hey, they're looking for our goofy asses. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Sirona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, 
That's how I'm lame. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. Okay. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Yeah. Can't drink butter beer forever. Right in for us. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Why? Well, I didn't even ask me. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Revelio. Three broomsticks currently run by Serona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogmeade itself. The three brogs meet broomsticks is the long standing gathering spot for villagers, Hogwarts students who want to enjoy butterbeer or fire whiskey. Lumos. Look how Lumos looks in here. Looks so nice. You know, I gotta travel. Revelio. We got a daring cloak. Man, how many stairs is this? It's locked. Okay. Some sprinkling. Rebellion. And that's his uncle's joke shot. Let's use flu powder to get back. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Let's use blue powder. Okay. Uh, common room. <clears throat> Where's my common room again? It's the library. I still don't know where my common room is. It's tragic. Where's my camera? It has travel to your common room. I don't know where my common room is. Nothing there. Nothing there. That was a great haul. Okay.
Well, guys, I hope you did enjoy the activities in Hogsmeade. Uh, this is still quite, frankly, one of the most exciting games I've played in a long time. I'm so ready to keep going. I wish I could just stream it in 4K for everybody. But, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it helps out, gets my video out there, and I appreciate every single interaction. So, that being said, I hope you guys have a great night, morning, evening, whatever it is for you. And you make it a good day, or whatever it is for you. And this has been Tuxta, signing off. Peace.